trade. It wasn't, we say slave trade. It wasn't a trade. It was a kidnapping because mm. a trade is when you exchange money and get something. One thing you can say about Europeans is that they document everything they do and they keep it. They were doing all this accounting way back then and they actually will post it in the papers, right? Here are some of the things that, and you see the African merchant, they were doing an exchange. Here are some of the things right here, the African merchant right there. Okay, this is 1778. And you go on down and you will see all the things that were exchanged, correct? This was a trade, a complete trade. Okay, you keep on going down, 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 down. And I know this is hard to, for some people to swallow, but it's the complete truth. Okay. It's hard. It's hard to swallow. I mean, I was at that point one time where I didn't want to swallow it, but no, and this was years back years ago. I didn't want to swallow it either, but it's the truth. It's just swallow it. That's what the flip it is. Okay. You see all these things. All right. They were swapping back and forth, back and forth. Okay. And as we move down the page, you'll see the enslaved and how much money was being, how much it cost, how much things cost, okay? You see gold, you see that? 40,000, okay? 40,000, 40,000. And here's some more stuff that were, that were being traded. Some more things, okay? So this was a trade, okay? A couple Europeans can't just come on to the come on to the place and just say, "Hey, we're going to take." Because they don't even know they don't even know the routes in the cold continent of Africa. They don't know where to flip. They're going, okay? So they had help, all right. They had help. Simple as that. You can't just go somewhere and just know where to flip. You going? There were no satellites in the air. There was no maps of of the African continent. Come on now, you had help, okay? Let's just get down to the basics of it okay just the plain foundation no need to make up things and romanticize what happened the problem is people go around romanticizing africa romanticizing europe romanticizing so people. what we're basically saying is like if african people were abducted or kidnapped by the europeans by the by the greeks red arabs the red arabs um Many African tribes were kidnapping others, chaining them up and bringing them to the Europeans and the other people, the Arabs. This is fact. How are you going to worship their gods and their religion? It doesn't make sense. See, we don't worship the same God. Read this verse. You are of your father, the devil, and this is, and it is your will to practice his desires. Jesus never told them to go and mistreat people like that. Also, these are the religions that slave traders claimed right here. This would mean they followed the religion. They could have disregarded their whole belief system in order to gain wealth. The slave trade was a business, and everyone knows the root of all evil is money. It's greed and power. Europeans had a religion. African slave traders had various religions. Arab slave traders had a religion. African slave traders had various religions. European had a religion. All of these people had different religions and they did the same thing this was business to them this was not religion so stop pointing at a religion because it makes no sense this was business greed and power simple that people love it um hate everything about slavery except for christianity <laughs> <laughs> which doesn't make any sense because this was beaten into you the disciple mark was african he was straight out of Libya. Thing about God is he chose people from different places. And now your DNA is is programmed to the point where you're afraid of the slave master. So we want to connect back to our ancestors, back to Africa, back to what works for us. Again, these are all different religions. What works for you, quote unquote, what you said. Okay, then sacrifices and all the other things were going on way back in the day. And they also had plantations and Tipu Tip, a slave trader, um, had about 10,000 slaves. And everyone else, when they pray to their gods, it works for them because you look on the planet and who's, who's getting help? And why are you not getting help? 
Um, it's called free moral agency. People who do evil are responsible for their actions and people who do good are responsible for their actions. Use wisdom, knowledge, understanding when it comes to making decisions. God gave us the ability to reason and he said, be wise and don't be evil. Because black people, so-called black people, because mm. we're not even black, because um, we go back to that state of supreme balancement, which is not a color, it's a dark energy, dark matter. So when we say black, we're not referring to the color, yeah? Mm. Um, when you go back to why don't we get any help? Why are we the ones that are being abused and, you know, have people say we're on the lowest, um, what would you call it? Like uh, lowest, on, a lecture, uh, on a scale of, yeah. Yeah. Uh, of all the races, yeah. Exactly. So African leaders were short-sighted. African leaders were short-sighted. They sold their people and their wealth away and afterwards were easily taken over. Never sell off your birthright. Bad decisions. That goes back to wisdom. Many, not all, didn't use it at all. Oh, it's not religion and these gods and Allah and whatever we're calling, it's not working for us. And since we've started to reconnect back to our ancestors, we see the changes. Mm, you know, definitely. we're seeing the changes. So you have to connect back to what vibrates with you by DNA. The real light bulb is making better decisions. Even the Bible says, don't kidnap and sell people because it's worthy of the death penalty. And he says those who did it will be damned in Revelation 18. The slave trade was wrong.